In this 3ds Max Tips and Tricks videos, I'm gonna explain you how to use the new Arnold shape operator, which can be found in PFlow. Just before I dive into the um, the example, uh, I want to show you guys my render setup. So in the render setup, my render is set to Arnold. Uh, also, my active shading is set to Arnold, and I'm using the latest version of Arnold. So you can easily identify if you're running the latest version of Arnold uh, in the Arnold Renderer tab. So this is the version. If there is a new version available, it's mentioned here. And you can go directly to the, um, the solid angle or the render, arnoldrenderer.com website, where you're able to download the latest version of the plugin. Um, I have one tree, uh, textured, obviously. Uh, I have a ground plane and I've placed one Arnold light. So if I select the Arnold light, if I go into modify, uh, as you can see, it's a sky dome light. I've changed the resolution to 4K, changed the format to the latitude longitude, and I'm using the light shape visible uh, option in the shape rendering and in the color intensity rollout, I've been using the texture option where I've placed an HDR. Um, and the HDR itself is obviously it's a spherical HDR. So I dragged it into the slate material editor. I double clicked on there. Let me quickly show you that as well. So in the slate material editor, this is the HDR and it's set to an environment um, spherical because that's, that's going to be used for my, for my light um, and reflections and so on. So um, first things first, what you can do in, uh, in PFlow. So let me open up PFlow uh, by using the, uh, the six shortcut key on my keyboard. Uh, that's opening particle view in an empty state. I'm just going to drag in a standard flow. Okay, I'm going to drag in the standard flow to the grid. And then I'm going to change the basic parameters. So I start with the event to the birth. I'm not going to do animation, just going to scatter trees. So the emitter starts at zero and the emitter also stops at zero. So I'm right clicking the spinner. Um, the amount, I want to have a thousand trees to start with. Um, the position icon is by default set to volume. And I'm going to replace the position icon with my position object. So from the depot, I'm just selecting the position object and dragging it over onto the, uh, the position volume so that you see the red line, what means it's going to replace the uh, previous one. So the emitter object is my ground plane. So I'm going to edit, just going to select it. So that's the ground. I don't need any speed. So I'm going I'm to get rid of this, uh, the speed operator. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to delete this one. Uh, rotation is fine. It's set to random 3D. That's totally fine. Um, and let me display uh, the original uh, geometry itself. So if I go to, let's do oh, uh, Dix, let's set it to geometry. So I might need to change the uh, the shape. It's a bit bit large. I'm running in meters. So immediately the size is it's too big. So let me quickly scale this scale this down. All right. So um, the Arnold shape operator. The only thing what you need to do is uh, override the default shape with the Arnold shape operator. So I'm dragging this in. That's the Arnold shape operator. Okay. And this shape operator um, makes it possible to render the particles as instances of reference geometry. It supports VS Max objects, Arnold procedurals, Arnold volumes, uh, alembics, and Arnold lights. So what I'm what I'm gonna do uh, within the Arnold shape, uh, I'm just gonna select the particle geometry object. So that is the tree. Okay, and there we are. Um, check the rotation. Uh, it needs to be changed to world space because then you can uh, start rotating the trees uh, in the in the z the z direction, which is which is quite quite nice um, if you want to do that. Uh, and as a final tip, in the Arnold shape, you can have 
a skill variation. So if I change the skill variation into let's do 50%, uh, I do get random random scales in the in the trees. If you want to do a Arnold procedural, um, you might you might need to change your physical materials into the Arnold uh, standard surface material. But that's something I'm going to do in a in a in a different uh, in another video. Uh, so now we have all the trees being placed with with Arnold um, uh, based on the new uh, P flow. Uh, Arnold shape operator, which is super, super nice. Um, and of course, when I do uh, hit render, it's gonna initialize all the objects and uh, the scene starts starts rendering. Thank you.